Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. Today I'll talk about Windows Command Prompt. As Windows Command Prompt is not directly related to the software testing, but sometimes it, it is needed because uh, for software installation, bash file run, creating bash file, or run software testing using command prompt, those kind of thing you need to do through the command prompt. So command prompt is a program which is comes with Windows, um, Windows operating system, it's a free. So at least you need to know some level of basic of command prompt. So the tutorial, I have made a topics today. It will all show you how to uh, open Windows command prompt many different way. You can go to program file accessories then command prompt also you can run windows plus r button then type cmd hit enter it will open also from the folder location you can also open the command prompt so once command prompt is open then i will create a bash file which is windows bash file bash file can do multiple action at a time so my goal is i'll create one test project folder Within that folder, I will create four different folder. One is requirement folder, two is test plan folder, three is test case folder, also test report folder. Within that project folder, I will create another text file, which is info project. Most of the time as a software tester, you need to create those file manually one by one. It takes some time, but uh, if you create Windows base file, then with, with a single click, you, you can create uh, all of those file at a time so not like related to you have to do this work but at least familiarity with the windows command prompt that will help you software testing for many different purpose so first thing first let's open command prompt through the program files so go to program file all program you see accessories windows command prompt this is the windows command prompt this way you can open also you can uh, close this command prompt use the exit command type exit and hit enter it will close that now is the windows plus r button from your keyboard type windows plus r and here you can type cmd then ok or hit enter this command prompt will open so there is two way then again you can exit from here type exit once it is done, the last portion is from the folder perspective. Let's say I have a folder in my desktop, uh, which is called test. Let's go to that folder. It is a test folder. So this is a, this folder is empty. Basically, we will create a base file that will create all the file over here automatically. So here you can do type cmd, select the address bar, type cmd it will open your command prompt and once you will open this command from this way you don't need to navigate any other thing you can write your command over here and it will create file or folder in your location so let's say in that location this there is nothing it is empty right so now we'll create a folder over there just we'll delete later on before creating bash file just create md means it will create directory making directory command is md then type your folder name let's say test project hit enter you see command is executed there is no error go to the location it is folder is created so i'm deleting this folder because we will create a folder on and everything with through the best file there is one more thing there is the important command is cd cd if you press dot dot it will take you one step back we are on test folder now it is in desktop folder again if you type cd then which folder you want to navigate type that test we want to go to the test folder then it will go to the test folder again and cd if you press backslash it will take you all the way to the root it will take a c clone that one that's common from c drive so which folder you will work you need to navigate that folder let's say we want to work this folder so this folder desktop it is a test folder take the path from here copy then go to the command prompt 
then type cd command then a space and type that path edit paste hit enter it will go that location so let me exit from here it's a basic command whatever i showed you let it exit from here create one uh, this test folder is empty so now open notepad file tpad notepad so here we will create a bash file what is the bash file we will create within the test folder so first we will navigate there copy this path so cd our command is navigate we will navigate over there once we will navigate we will create four different file one is md let me show you what we we have planned so first folder is one dot requirement then again md we will create another folder second folder is dot test plan third folder is md dot sorry not dot md three dot test case then fourth folder md four dot test report this four folder is created then we need to another information file which is uh, a text file so copy null that command greater than sign put your file name info underscore project dot txt yes, that's all about this file this command will create you all file together so how let me so show this so this file i'll file save as we'll save it as desktop let's say you need to select all file in here then you need to file name project file creation any name you can put project file creation dot bash file extension is bat 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 windows bat file then you click save this file is save as a bash file so let's open any folder document this folder go to the desktop project file creation project file creation you see there is a wheel icon project file creation this is a bash file so as soon as you will run this bash file just a single click you see it is right away it appears and disappear you see all the file is created how easy it is and very few very little time it took to create those type of folder so if you create those type of folder for yourself many different purpose then your work will be very time consuming so um, it is not only this purpose it works for many different purpose at least you need some sort of knowledge for the windows command from executing command and creating bash file run the bash file this bash file running not a millisecond we can create all of those folder if you want to see one more time just delete all of those let's say delete yes just double click you will see how long it takes it's not even a second just open and close and it created all of your file that's all about today's tutorial for windows command prompt and uh, it is our agenda i believe it is opening i cover all of those then also creating bash file you understand and um, within the project folder all we created we through the bash process and i show you the command it is so this is the command we executed project file bash file this is the command first cd we navigated 
md means make directory uh, one directory we created four directory then command is creating text file empty text file copy null greater than sign text file name dot txt then save it as a back windows bash file extension is bat back once it is saved then just double click run it and it will create your folder automatically this way if you want to create this folder in different project only this destination needs to be changed where you want to create this folder if you delete up to this it will create a folder in desktop it is in test folder or any other folder you can create those things I believe those who are new in uh, Windows command prompt, this video will be very helpful for themselves. If you think it is helpful, please like my video, subscribe my channel and share it to others. Also, if you have any question, please make a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video.